Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the only team from Southern Africa at the 2017 Gabon African Cup of Nations Finals Tournament. The Warriors of Zimbabwe! Hello there, and welcome to the show. Well, you know what? Uh, uh, this is uh, our last show, not forever, but just for season one. Uh, and uh, it has been a grueling 26 shows eh, uh, that we've done in season one. Uh, so that's exactly six months that we've been talking to you week in, week out, uh, and we've enjoyed it. Uh, but don't worry, we'll be back pretty, pretty soon with season two. Uh, but we start the show on another sad note uh, because uh, the entire football fraternity all over the world uh, plunged into mourning uh, last Wednesday after Italy's uh, great 1982 World Cup hero, the great forward Paolo Rossi, uh, died peacefully at his home after a long illness. Great player. Uh, uh, shown at the 1982 World Cup uh, for the Rossineri and uh, especially in the final after West Germany, they met West Germany who were the outright favourites but in the end uh, Italy beat West Germany by three goals uh, to one. May his soul rest in peace. Uh, and uh, what we'll be doing uh, on this show is reliving uh, some of the highlights uh, that you enjoyed that we brought for you in season one. So I think it's going to be quite uh, fun. But first, yes, you guessed it, uh, we send you on another Zim treasure hunt. <laughs> the Zim treasure hunt this week is which English club does Warriors defender Tendai Darikwa play for? Is it A. Liverpool or is it B. Charlton Athletic or is it C. Nottingham Forest? Well, 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 uh, easy one, uh, but don't worry. If you uh, can't get it now, we'll give you another chance before the end of the show to try and get it. If still can get it uh, we'll reveal the answer uh, at the end of the show hey guys this is nyasha michelle here in nangzhou china don't miss charles mamika's soccer diaries on Facebook and on YouTube. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be packed. I can't wait. Now time for you to sit back and relax uh, because uh, coming up uh, are some of the highlights uh, that we've compiled for you from season one. Hey, I'm Charles CNN Mabika and welcome to this uh, brand new exciting show entitled Charles Mabika's Soccer Diaries where I will be taking you down memory lane back into the present and further into the future with all the action statistics, 
amazing stories and interviews with our top stars right here in Zimbabwe, in South Africa, in Zambia, in Tanzania, in fact, from all over the world. Yes, it will be happening right here. And uh, listen, you can catch this show on any of these following forums. You can catch it on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Twitter. And uh, what's our first show about this week? Well, it's about Zimbabwe's finest midfielders since independence in 1980 up to this day. Who are your finest ever midfielders? Well, I can tell you, I had to come up uh, with 20 finest ever midfielders for me. But I will tell you, it was a pretty difficult job because I had to leave out some great names. But uh, a job had to be done. So... Get ready because uh, my 20 finest ever midfielders from 1980 up to this day are coming up right now with the first 10. Uh, the first 10 your three or anyone there for you don't worry because uh, the remaining ten are coming up right now <laughs> I did promise you that uh, we would be having a special representative from Dimbari Dynamo's football club uh, to talk to us about what has been happening as we await the kickoff uh, to the 2020 season. And it gives me pleasure uh, to welcome uh, the head coach at Dimbari, Tondirai Stanza Ndiraya. Well, Stanza is good. Thank you so much uh, for coming on to the show. Thank you very much, CNN. It's always a pleasure being here with you on the show. Oh, Stanza, um, how is the season's suspension due to the corona pandemic affected your preparations for 2020? Um, CNN, I think it, um, it, it disturbed us in a very, very big way. You've always been on record as saying that uh, you'd love to coach a Dynamo squad that understands uh, the club's value and uh, institution set up. How far have you gone with this new squad in instilling that philosophy? Well, CNN, I think um, it has been a little bit difficult. Um, I think I tried last year, but uh, because we didn't have, uh, you know, enough quality, we had to ship out uh, quite a number of those last year. But if, I think if you look at the um, difference between those we had last year and those we have this year. Um, those we had last year um, had, had uh, made some strides in terms of understanding uh, what the club requires. Uh, remember to make a date with us uh, every uh, Sunday, 12 noon, and that's on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Uh, and uh, if you miss it, you can always watch it uh, anytime at your leisure, at your pleasure. What are we talking about this week? Well, this week uh, we are revisiting the ordeal that uh, one of the 18 local premiership sides went through uh, here rental football club, also nicknamed uh, the students. Well, for some of you who might not be familiar uh, with what we are talking about, the ordeal that we are talking about, uh, rentals uh, were charged uh, with three cases by the Premier Soccer League Disciplinary Committee uh, last year uh, during the season and uh, the, the cases dragged on until just recently. Well, the first case was uh, of uh, match fixing. Uh, the PSL's Disciplinary Committee contended that uh, the rentals had fixed a match in which they eventually won 3 nil against Amiside Black Knights. Like I said before, we spoke uh, to their Secretary General, Finus Madumbu, and uh, he explained about how 
they went through at that grueling time following those three charges. It wasn't uh, a pleasant uh, period for us. That is uh, October 2019 up to July 2020. That is nine months when uh, we were uh, trying to clear our name against uh, various uh, allegations, um, which includes uh, match fixing allegations and uh, also taking football matters to court. But I think uh, we come the, 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 the start of the season will be equally competitive. Well, quite a scenario there for the students, uh, as you heard from uh, Finals Madumbu, uh, but uh, they are geared up uh, for the new season whenever that one is going to start. Uh, hello there, I'm Charles CNN Mabika, and uh, welcome to the show. We start, uh, however, this show on a rather sad note, uh, uh, because uh, earlier this week, uh, we were shocked by the sudden passing away of a very promising and young coach. Uh, we used to call him PP, his real name, Prince Kadewere, the elder brother of uh, Zimbabwe Warriors International, Tino Tenda Kadewere, was playing his trade in France. Uh, PP, as Prince Kadewere, passed away after a short illness. He still had a lot to offer Zimbabwe football. Uh, he was always uh, telling me that uh, his dream was to one day coach the Warriors, but he has been taken away at a very, very early age. And uh, from everyone here uh, at uh, Charles Mambika's uh, Soccer Diaries, uh, would like to pass our sincere condolences to the entire Kadewere family and uh, Pipi, you went too, too soon. From number five to number ten, starting with number ten, who do I think is in tenth position for the most successful footballers to play their trade? Some are still playing, remember? So you will see on this list, some are still young and they will uh, still have a lot to achieve. But so far, this is what I think, starting with number 10. Kop. En daar is de bal van, van, van Andries. Kan zien met de voorzet. Moussona met de controle en de voorsprong voor Kaan. Nee, dan nog een vreemde beweging. Moussona. Nog Moussona. Tot weer maar toe en dan scoort hij 2-0.
Muzona lo controlo di Musona su De Sarte, lo supera, attenzione a Canesin, ha un buon tiro, Canesin nel tocco in avanti, non è finito il tiro, e c'è il gol, il gol dello stand, ha segnato Musona. Arca di re, arca di rotella, arca di gol di Rior, Lolic Musona. Musona topo in dirittente, proto calessente, Musona di Rior, Musona gol di Rior, 3-0. Like Alonzo, so one day they'll be calling me great, just call me Gonzo, but I'm never acting nor is anybody pulling strings. Everything I have came from sacrificing everything. I traded working nine to five for the minimum for working non-stop, so my life be like a cinema screen. But in the end, I wouldn't have it any other way. Got on my knees and for this rap to work is what I prayed. And that was happening, crunching numbers like Captain, a serial killer, compelling listeners with his passion for words. Never acting my verbs, but truly fashion to serve, not only masses, but curves, not just the hood, but the birds. Know you hear it every time I grace the mic, then I give it to God, feeling blinded by the lights in his song. Let me see you put them up. Reach the skies, let the stars up above, cause it's one time for the underdog. One time for the underdog. You got the world on your team. Even if that ain't what it seems. So, do you agree with me? Uh, number 10, number 10, and talk to them uh, through the then Minister of Sports, uh, who was Terai Ropa Nongo, now known as uh, Mrs. Joyce Mujuru, and uh, uh, she took it to government, and, and government gave the thumbs up uh, to the formation of uh, uh, National Women's Game, and uh, there were clubs that sprouted from then, uh, clubs like Dynamos, Queens, Highlanders, Queens, Zimbabwe, Saints, or Queens, and so on. And the game has evolved. You will be aware of that. It has evolved uh, to great heights, to dizzy heights, and uh, the mighty warriors have done very, very well. Uh, so this is what we'll be talking about. Uh, and uh, I have drawn up, <laughs> here I go again, I've drawn up a list of uh, what I think is the best, the finest Mighty Warriors 11 from 1981 to now. So you will uh, see what you can think about it when it comes up later on and we'll also show you highlights uh, from a couple of uh, Mighty Warriors matches. That's finest 11 and here it is. <laughs> up against Angola there's been a lot of talk about this young team that has arrived in this tournament so how much will they be able to do here to cause an upset against a formidable Zimbabwean mighty Warriors team Rosan Irina from Madagascar here's Zimbabwe onside ball paid in and that is the opening goal and he easily put years of age And there's a penalty given, Nashamba just been nudged by the captain of Mozambique. Joana Soka saying there was nothing wrong with what I did there, I just went up. And the referee saying, no, nope, not today. Now, let's see how she's going to take this one, Nashamba. Rudo Nashamba. 
Step forward, Rudon Neshamba! Comfortably converted. And Zimbabwe go 3 0 up and she scores her fourth goal of the tournament. Zimbabwe 3 0. Shiromakoto will take this one. 3 0 they're leading Zimbabwe. Long ball into the penalty area. Nyaumwe! And that really just is an icy one already. Tilisha looking cake for Nyaumwe. She pulled off a marker and comfortable easily into the back of the net. Zimbabweans. Thursday, first in Algeria, and then four days later at the National Sports Stadium. But first, uh, let's have a look at the current standings of the Group H Afghan, which uh, Zimbabwe and Algeria are part of, and here it is. <laughs> Of uh, who is in the squad Well, no need to worry Sit back, relax Because this is the squad That will prepare for that crucial Desert Foxes encounter The two games in Algeria And in Zimbabwe <laughs> saying that uh, we it, all, it has always been uh, a noodle affair every time we played Algeria. Let's take a look at the head-to-head -head encounters between Zimbabwe and Algeria over the years. <laughs> Uh, little affairs uh, well, coming up uh, is another match uh, that finished as a needle affair when we met uh, Algeria at the 2017 African Cup of Nations uh, finals tournament we were put in the same group as Algeria we met them uh, in that match and this is what happened <laughs>
So two two, it ended us. So uh, this is uh, uh, quite an appetizing encounter that is before us uh, on the twelfth of November in Algeria, and four days later on the sixteenth of November at the National Sports Stadium. Highlights there from season one. But before we go away, let's give you another chance uh, to get uh, the Zim Treasure Hunt. Here it is. And uh, well, if you say that uh, the answer is C, uh, you got it spot on. Yes, uh, Dariqua plays uh, for English Championship side Nottingham Forest. Well, that's just about it. Uh, we will be back, uh, like I said earlier on, pretty, pretty soon with season two from everybody involved in this uh, production uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us on season one and yes remember to take care of your loved ones and each other i'm charles cnn mabika until we meet again it's bye bye for now <laughs>